Hi everybody, it's Jen with OpenSource.com, bringing you the top five articles this week, November 7th. It's fall and beautiful in North Carolina, so I wanted to bring you a little bit of the leaves falling and the colors changing to our video today. Every week I tally numbers and listen to the buzz to bring you the best of last week's open source news and stories on OpenSource.com. So our top five articles of the week are, at number five, Eskimo conserves resources with Igloo applications. Clevertech CEO Sergey Pascan and lead Node.js senior developer at Clevertech Nick Bow brings us the story of their boilerplate framework, Eskimo. Fans of the lean startup methodology, they built Eskimo to be a minimal viable product. The idea being that you build a version of a new product that allows your team to collect the maximum amount of validated learning about customers with the least effort. You can see this method in one of our pillars of the open source way, rapid prototyping. Eskimo is then used to build applications, or what they are calling igloos. Nick and Sergey give readers an understanding of how they made their open source project, why they made it, and some of the products they have come to use out of it. At number four this week, we have Health Hack 2014, the power of open source, open data, and cross-disciplinary collaboration. Hackathons, which are all day and sometimes all night work sessions on a particular problem or project, are commonplace among open source communities and techies in general. Some groups code, some code and document, some code and document design and write and more. Tim Hildred shares one such hackathon with us called Health Hack 2014, organized in Melbourne, Australia, to work on problems in medical research. 24 hours into the hackathon and teams had been formed around ideas. Finally, 48 hours since it all began, and winning teams and projects were announced. The grand prize was 10,000 compute hours on TriFed, Australia's premier supercomputer. At number three, we have Tutorial to Create a Vector Graphic with Inkscape. Kimberly Key's how-to guide for drawing open source tools for, for using open source tool Inkscape was a big hit with readers who want to learn more about creating vectors from photographs instead of drawing them freehand. Her subjects for this tutorial are two fluffy dogs named Boo and Buddy. And Kim shares some of her other works using this process with Inkscape, including the famous Grumpy Cat, who you can see at the top of the article. A bonus for readers is Kim's explanation of which photographs by others you are allowed to use from the internet. All of Kim Kim's images are licensed under Creative Commons and available on clipart.org. At number two, an open source ERP system built to self-implement. This story of building an open source ERP system, that is, enterprise resource planning, is the kind of story opensource.com readers get a lot of. True tales of what it's like to work on open source projects and what the outcomes can be so that you can learn more about the people who build the tools you love. And hey, maybe you'll be inspired to contribute or build one of your own. Finally, at number one this week, if you write code, this is your golden age. Remy Ducal's maker attended Jeffrey Hammond's opening keynote at the All Things Open conference this year and gives readers a close to complete, but for accuracy, accuracy's sake, we'll call it a partial transcription of Jeffrey's talk. Jeffrey presented a thoughtful and provoking opening keynote that drove right at the heart of how the tech landscape is changing, pointing out with clear statistics that this is the golden age for developers. Here's an excerpt from Ruby's transcription, but check out the full article for more stats. We are in a generational tech shift. Modern tech is different than client-server applications. We got to understand how to use this tech and elastic arch architectures that allow us to innovate cheaply. The cheapness of open source is a perfect fit for modern app platforms. Four out of five use open source, and it works. Open source software projects drive the collaborative collectives, whether they hang on GitHub or in Drupal, or in foundations like Eclipse or Apache. These are the centers of gravity of development moving forward into the next decade, and the center of gravity grows. Talent is a seller's market, and we are in the golden age. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me this week. You can find all of the links to the articles in the notes below and in the article that we publish every weekend. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.